president just wrapped up or is continuing to. I know some of the pool just left, but the president is currently hosting an opioid and drug abuse listening session senior administration officials, governors, experts in the psychology of drug addiction, uh, recovery awareness uh, advocates, and others who have been affected by the opioid crisis. Drug abuse has crippled communities across this nation. In 2015, more than 52,000 Americans, that's 144 people a day, died from a drug overdose with 63 percent involving an opioid, according to the CDC. Drug overdoses are now the leading cause of accidental death in our country. As the President discussed with the group this morning, we won't be able to address this academic, excuse me, epidemic with a single solution. First, we must uh, get struggling Americans the help that they need. Too many families have seen firsthand the destruction that job, drug abuse can bring. And we must also focus prevention on law and enforcement. Uh, cheap heroin is flooding into our communities as drug cartels expand into the country, setting off a chain reaction of addiction, of addiction that spreads from person to person and from family to family. President Trump has already taken executive action to strengthen law enforcement and dismantle criminal cartels. He and his team will continue to discuss how best to root out this threat to American communities with drug enforcement experts as we continue this fight. Stopping this academic is not is, a, is an issue that every American, regardless of your political background, can and must get behind. We must work together from the leaders of the most local, from most local and community recovery and support programs, all the way to the White House to solve this problem. Uh, the White House took a big first step this morning in our battle to combat drug addiction and the opioid crisis by meeting with these individuals, which included uh, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who has been a leader in this issue. Attorney General Sessions, Education Secretary DeVos, Veterans Administration Secretary Shulkin, Homeland Security Secretary Kelly, and others were in attendance. Uh, a full list of uh, participants has been provided. Uh, I will say uh, the pool was just in there. It is um, some of the stories uh, from some of the individuals who have been involved in this uh, with a family member are unbelievably compelling. Uh, their desire to see uh, and to work with the administration to get this problem addressed is uh, is one that is plaguing communities, and I know the president places it at the highest um, highest priority. Uh, there was a mention by the drug uh, the acting administrator of the DEA that uh, that they uh, have a program where twice a year they gather uh, unwanted drugs. Last year they gathered over a million pounds of unwanted drugs. There's 5,000 sites in which in people across America can drop off uh, stuff in their medicine cabinet that is no longer used to get it out of their house. Uh, the next drop, uh, drop off will be on April 29th, and I think the DEA will be putting out more information. Uh, but when you see some of the action that was taking place in this report, it is uh, truly a call to arms for a 